For us to be fully awake is for us to become truly transparent. And what is that? It is, first of all, to turn our attention to our own physical experience, our own feeling experience, our affective experience, and our minds. What in the heck is our self-talk about? By turning our attention inward, in essence, we're at some level familiarizing ourselves with our own mental continuum. What is going on? What the body is saying to us, what the heart is saying to us, and what the mind is saying to us. And so many of us are kind of outward directed. It's all about others. We're either helping, saving all sentient beings from suffering, madly doing it, or we're very, uh, you know, another form of insecurity. We're trying to win approval from others, but we really haven't stopped. We haven't sat down. We haven't gone within. We haven't allowed ourselves to really settle into the grounded place that we were invited to at the beginning of this session, to notice what's happening in our subjective experience, and to make that transparent to ourselves. Self-transparency is essential. If we are to assume any responsibility as leaders in this emerging world. What is it to um, be able to actually drop through the levels and layers of our narratives, of our self-talk, of our self-appraisals, to touch into who we really are? The awake person, the compassionate woman, the wise woman, who is our essential nature. So that first transparency is creating the conditions where we really drop down and in. The second transparency is that from that base, you know, of fundamental stability, we're able to perceive what is happening in the world. In other words, reality becomes transparent to us. It's not overlaid with our projections, with our stories, our narratives. It's not distorted by our fears. We can really see deeply as wise people into what is happening right now. But the third fold in the threefold transparency is having a completely undefended heart. Not trying to protect your person, place, reputation, or whatever, but being completely open to the world so the world can really look into you and see who you really are deeper than the narrative. 